Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Yolanda uh, Gaming. Um, so, a few days ago I posted a video saying that you should not run Arc Ascended on a 4 core or 4 thread processor. And that's kind of true, but I figured out why and sort of how to band aid fix it for the meantime. If you like have to play on that CPU for whatever reason. So, first things first. Fix what you can from settings, but some things are not fixable from there. So first, you're going to want to set your frame rate to half whatever your monitor is. So if you're on a 60 uh, hertz monitor, you're going to want to set your frame rate to 29. Set it just a tad below, because whenever I had it at 30, I was experiencing a lot of crashes still. Lowering it by one fixed a lot of them. Uh, you're going to also probably want to set foliage quality low because the foliage is really badly optimized. Light bloom, light shafts. Again, that's only if you're experiencing a lot of crashes. Now, you can try to turn that up. I, I think the main fix is going to be the frame rate and these commands I'll show you. But, um, yeah. So, you might also want to try turning off your light bloom, your light shafts. Uh, definitely foliage and fluid if you're having a lot of problems with crashes because those are pretty badly optimized even though they look really cool. Um, you're also going to want to turn your resolution up to max and set it to window full screen because a lot of these crashes are going to be CPU related. If your graphics card can't handle that, that's okay, but just know that lower resolution means higher uh, workload for the CPU. So. Next, um, if you go into console command, which, oh yeah, also I want to show you guys, in UI you can disable menu transitions and that might fix your inventory crashes if you're having that problem. Now, okay, so next is, oh yeah, I needed to show you guys. So go to advanced and you can enable console access. Just click that and it'll turn it on. You press pause, whatever button that may be for you. And, uh, click on console command now you're gonna to wanna to type in these four you have to do them separately I tried doing them together and I still got crashes but now I can go in and not have crashes now also you might want to turn off volumetric cloud um, that's what I'm trying right now to see if that works better but yeah enter these specifically and those will probably help if you're having CPU crashes now, I was running a program and it said it was a thread related error, not a core related error. So, four quad processors are probably fine. But, unless you're entering these settings, maybe even still if you're entering these settings, you're going to struggle if you only have four threads on your processor. Now, the game recommends a six core, 12 thread. But, like I said in the last video, I'm pretty sure you should be able to run it comfortably with a four core, eight thread because. The game is realistically a lot more heavily dependent on your GPU, the CPU. Yeah, on my PC right now, um, I have a statistic thing open. It's not going to appear on the recording. Uh, but it says it's sitting at about 50 when I turn real fast on the CPU. Um, if I sit still, it'll probably go down. Yep, uh, lower 40s, upper 30s. GPU and VRAM are sitting at about... 50 to 80 and I'm running 16 gigs RAM and only getting like half of it used so 16 gigs RAM is not the problem this is most likely going to come down to a monitor or probably processor problem but like I said for some reason lowering that frame rate to half your monitor actually seemed to be a massive fix for me so I was having problems with orbit camera crashing the game earlier and as you can see orbit camera like that it puts a lot of uh, heavy usage on the CPU and it caused the game to crash for me so if you want to use orbit camera just use it once don't spam it like I was doing I was trying to prove a point that I wouldn't crash now and <laughs> the game laughed at me when I did that so uh, yeah if you're gonna use orbit camera with these settings it should work um, but uh, just be careful and don't spam it okay, so the game sort of crashed when I spammed orbit camera Although I kind of was putting the CPU to a little bit of a stress test by doing that. So if you want to use Orbit Camera, just don't spam it like that. And it should probably be fine. Now I'm going to test Explore Notes because obviously that's a key game feature. And if that still causes crashes, we might have a problem. Fairly unremarkable, but...
Okay. So far, so good. Didn't crash the game. Yeah, it should be somewhere over there. Aha. Here we go. Okay, my CPU does not like the cave at all. We're going in. Okay, the lighting looks super trippy in here. Probably a setting I have on. Okay, so just go very slow going into caves and you should probably be fine because my CPU usage went down now that we're in. It just was loading, just like it did in regular arc. You'd have a little bit of loading going into the cave, but it didn't crash. So I'm seriously impressed by that actually. Then, you know, obviously, just got to keep looking for something. But it should, in theory, be able to run on a four-core, four-thread processor. Is what I just proved to you guys, kind of. Again, like I said, please upgrade if you can, because yeah, this is not the most playable experience. But it does work if you need to play it like this for now. You need your artificial server. Uh, uh, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if this fix worked for you, like and maybe possibly consider subscribing, commenting, whatever you might need to do. Um, and uh, yeah, just thanks for watching, guys.